short statements uh, to read before I just introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Lewis Baser, I'm the Detective Superintendent from the Metropolitan Police, and my colleague is James Collis, uh, Chief Superintendent here in Sussex Police. We'll just read out some short statements and obviously at the end we'll have to take some questions um, following uh, any questions you have following the statements we're about to make. So officers are continue, continuing the extensive searches for the missing baby of Constance Martin and Mark Gordon after they were located in Brighton last night. The pair were arrested in Stamford Villas at around 21.30 hours on Monday the 27th of February after a member of the public saw them in the shop in Hollingbury Place. I can confirm that they were initially arrested on suspicion of child neglect. I can now confirm that they have been further arrested on suspicion of gross negligence manslaughter and that they remain in custody at police stations in Sussex. The baby was not with them and we have not found the baby at yet. The police helicopter, sniffer dogs, thermal imaging cameras and drones are being used to assist officers on the ground. We currently have over 200 officers from multiple units across the Metropolitan Police and Sussex Police involved in the search. Throughout this investigation our key priority has been finding the baby and we remain committed to that. There is a significant amount of police search activity in open spaces to the north of Brighton near to where the couple were arrested last night. Before the arrest the last known sighting of the couple was in New Haven on Wednesday the 8th of January. I am therefore appealing to members of the public between Brighton and New Haven to report they may have seen people sleeping. I'd also ask people living in these areas to report any suspicious behaviour. Equally, if you are out walking in these areas and you discover something you think is pertinent to the investigation, please don't hesitate to contact us. No matter how insignificant it may seem, support from the public is vital and it is the support from the public that has been key to date in this investigation. We have received a large number of phone calls from members of the public during the investigation. I would like to thank everyone who has come forward with information and especially the person who quickly called the police last night after spotting Constance and Mark. Our colleagues from Sussex Police were on scene within minutes to make the arrest. We are very grateful for the support that they are providing and any information that could assist, I ask you to ring 999 immediately. I now hand over to my colleague. Thank you. So we are supporting the Metropolitan Police on this extensive search. Thanks to the vigilance of a member of the public, our officers were on scene within minutes of the reporting sighting and made arrests. An immediate search was launched, including the National Police Air Service helicopter, drones, dog units, and every available officer and staff member from across the force. These searches are ongoing, and the public can expect to see an increased police presence in the area, as well as a dedicated response to any information from the public. We acknowledge that there may be some disruption to the people living and working in the area, and we thank those people for their patience and understanding at this time. I'd like to thank the local community further for all the help they have given us so far. We have an extensive search area and will be in this community for some time. Some people may want to know what they can do to help. We just ask you to remain vigilant and please report anything of note to us. If you have any information that will support the search, please call 101 and in an emergency, please dial 999. We have dedicated call handlers available to talk with you. Thank you. So we're happy to take some questions if um, anyone would like to start. I'm working with the interest from Talk TV. Yeah. How has it come about yeah. actually coming to the arrest, further arrest on suspicion of gross negligence? So obviously the arrests occurred obviously last night, um, obviously just after 9.30. We've had significant periods of time in the custody facility uh, with both Constance and Mark. At this time, we have not furthered that information, um, which has now obviously led to the position where we feel that the risk is getting so great that we now have to consider uh, the possibility 
that the baby has come to harm and that will now be subject as part of that investigation by the officers involved. Have they admitted to that? The, on, the investigation is ongoing, the, the interview process will, is continuing um, and no, at this time it is purely based on the fact um, of part of the investigation strategy but I will you know, reiterate that we still remain focused on a search and an open land search to find the baby safe and well. Have they started cooperating at all? With earlier on, they didn't. They weren't even revealing the gender of the baby. Have they given any information at all about that? No, we've further no information um, in relation to the gender of the baby um, as part of the post-arrest or as part of the investigation at the moment. How hopeful are you that the baby is still alive given the time frame of working I, I, I wouldn't be drawn on a time frame. I think whilst we still have hope um, that the baby can be found safe and well, we must retain that hope. And we, as you see, the number of officers we have deployed on that open search. However, as time progresses, as the weather is, is, is closing tonight, as it was last night, in terms of um, the cold and the coldness uh, and the impact that would have on a baby, clearly the risk is getting higher. And we have to be open to the fact that this may not end in the way we would like, but we need to remain hopeful. And that is why over the late turn today into the night turn, you will still see the numbers of officers deployed on that search for the very reason of locating the baby. What, are the you brought, what do you think's brought them to the Brighton? What, sorry, what do you think's brought them to Brighton? And have you got any information which suggests that they've been in touch with any third party at all? No, at this, at this time, obviously, and I think it's key into the previous um, releases and in, in discussions we've had with, you, with yourselves and the media is you know we've seen from the 5th of January when this incident occurred and started in Manchester that they moved very quickly from Manchester to Liverpool to Essex throughout London before obviously coming to uh, Sussex um, at this time we have and didn't have as part of all of that investigation process uh, information that was you know brought us to reasons of location um, it will form part of the investigation um, now, obviously, to date, and will continue. And that will be part of that, you know, our strategy to work out why and why they came to Sussex and where they have been in that intervening time as well. And before he was um, arrested, it, it appears that he was with a stick, and there's been some footage shared online of the pair of them walking around. Can you confirm that? Can, can you help us out with that? We are looking into that footage. I can't confirm it right now. Uh, I hope to be able to come back later with. Um, I've seen the footage and we are looking into that footage. Um, they, you know, they both um, obviously was, were booked into custody and as part of that process we would, would have and have received the appropriate medical assessments um, at that booking in um, period. Where do you what think they were actually staying? Were they living rough? Were they in the allotments? Were they actually on the downs? Where, where, where's your focus of the search going? So the working hypothesis uh, still remains that um, we believe them to be and have been in the open land and open areas. That is why our, our, our focus and our search is as where it is. We are cognizant to the fact that you know that our outbuildings is a vast amount of land. I bring my colleague in around the, the, the geography. So the, the, the location, as you know from being here today, uh, is vast. Uh, we're looking at a sort of corridor uh, between where they were last sighted and here of about seven miles by 13 mile sort of length in duration, so 91 square miles worth uh, to be searched. Um, we just encourage the public to be vigilant. If you see anything, please report it. Our dedicated officers are working their way through that. And our focus really remains uh, at this time, while there is still some hope of finding this young baby, on doing so. Have you found any camping equipment? At this time, no, got no further information Have from... Given you any information? No, at this time we haven't got any information from the custody uh, process that's supporting uh, the location or the welfare of the baby. Just going back to when they were arrested, just going back to the point when they were arrested, a couple of things quickly. Can you give us a bit more detail about the member of the public who reported it and how that unfolded? Were they a shop worker? Did they follow them up here a bit? How did that happen? And also, going back to that footage, um, it appears that um, Constance Martin may have been wearing a puffer jacket and a dress and uh, Mark Gordon, also in a puffer jacket and baggy trousers, again with a walking stick. What were they wearing when they were arrested and did he have the stick when they were arrested? Um, what I can say around the, uh, the arrest is it, it was a diligent member of the public who observed them uh, accessing a cash machine and then further entering the, the, the shop. Um, and they remained vigilant, ringing 999 
which alerted Sussex Police, which saw a response from the initial 999 call to the arrest of about six minutes. And that obviously was also the movement of the couple um, just short of the location where we are um, right now. Last question. Um, just a follow on on, on their condition during the arrest. Is there anything in their condition suggesting that they have been living outdoors for a sustained period of time? Yeah, I think you know we can quite happily confirm. You know, from from the, the initial assessments that we have, which then links into our the rationale and reason for the for the why we are doing open land searches is because um, upon locating the couple and arresting the couple, there is informa you know very much significant intelligence information as part of that arrest process that brings us to a hypothesis that they have been and spending a significant time outdoors um, living uh, in, the, in the, the countryside and obviously the, the, vast, the vaster land that you obviously that you have here in Sussex. Yeah, my apologies, we'll, we'll do one more question and then so uh, we'll put you clear. You mentioned earlier that earlier on today that there may be a possibility someone was taking care of the baby on their behalf. Is that sort of possibility you are entertaining? We always have to keep our open mind to the investigation. Um, it is a reason why we did offer the £10,000 reward and that £10,000 reward um, remains open um, because what we know is that Constance and Mark uh, did have a substantial amount of cash within this investigation. Um, what we don't know is during the movements, have they come across an individual that um, has taken pity to the cause um, and through cash that's available to them, allowed them to seek refuge in either a, a premises or outbuildings. And it's to those individuals, that, you know, we say that that is where the reward sits. We have to keep open-minded, um, and it is one of the hypotheses that we are working to. Just going back, back to that point. So, I'm afraid. I'm afraid no more questions. But we just want to leave you with the statement that we thank you for your time this afternoon. We thank the public for their support on this, and we want to work diligently to see whether we can still find this baby at this time. So, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.